Hey everyone, it is Kathleen and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you clicked on this video. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're not. I am so excited to be here this week. I'm so sorry that I missed last week's video. I was dealing with a really, really bad cold and it kept me from feeling up to filming and editing, but I hope that this video makes up for it. So as you see, um, whether it's up here or down here, depending on your device that you're watching this on. So as the title says, we are going to be DIYing our own Sorcerer's Stone. I'm so excited for this, or Philosopher's Stone, depending on where you are <laughs> in the world. I saw somebody on TikTok do this video where they made their own Sorcerer's Stone, and I was very inspired. So I'm not gonna talk too much more, but before we get into the video, Click that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and add a little more Lumos to your day. And leave me a comment down below. Tell me, is it Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone for you? But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get straight into the video. So I was scrolling through TikTok as I usually do each day and I came across a video of um, somebody making their own Sorcerer's Stone. And what they used for the Sorcerer's Stone was a quartz crystal and some nail polish. And it looked really cool. And I was like, you know what, that sounds really fun. I'm gonna try and do that myself and I guess I'll make a video out of it. So what we're going to need is some crystal rock things. I don't have any fancy crystals or quartz. I have some like crystal formation rocks here that I had dug up a few years ago and had intended on using them for like gardens or something, but I washed them up off as bad. But I washed these off as good as I could, as well as I could. Um, but you know, it looks like that. I think this is a nice, I have two of them. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. I might just make two Sorcerer Stone and we'll see. But I can't, I'm trying to see which one I like more as a shape. I kinda like this one, but I also like this one. So. We'll see. Um, I'm probably just gonna make them both and see which one I like better. And for the um, coloring of it, um, like I said on the TikTok video, they use nail polishes. So I have an array of nail polishes here. I have some bright red matte, and I have an array of um, shimmery um, in different colors because um, my mine's not as clear as the crystal that was in the TikTok video, so I figured maybe I could use some of the shimmers that I wanted to to add some sparkle element or something. I don't know. This is all just a ex crazy experiment and you're all along with me. So I'm gonna go set up the, um, go set up in another room in my craft area, aka my bathroom, because I have no craft area, and we're gonna get straight into this. The first thing I did was put down just one coat of the matte red nail polish. Once the coat of red polish is dry, I took a bronze burgundy shimmer polish and I painted it and used the Q-tip to soften the dark color. The last nail polish that I'm using here is a pinky red shimmer polish just to add a little more depth to the stone so it just doesn't look like a painted rock. So here it is. Here is my Sorcerer's Stone that I spent quite a bit of time on. Not too much. I mean, when you hold it like this, it kind of looks like the Sorcerer's Stone from the movie, but it is definitely way more opaque than I would have liked. It doesn't look, really look very, you know, crystal gem-ish. It's uh, very much just a rock with paint on it. 
but that's why I try to add some of the shimmers and to give it depth. But you know what? I'm not too mad at it. It's going to look really cool on my Harry Potter shelf. It's going to look really cool with the rest of my DIYs and non-DIY merchandise. And it's a heck of a lot less expensive than the one on Noble Collection. And you can actually hold this one. The one on Noble Collection is kind of mounted. So you can actually hold this one, use it for pictures. So yeah, I think it's, this is a, definitely a very well-suited DIY for display purposes and taking photos for Instagram. If you're one of those like aesthetic Harry Potter Instagram people, I try to be, but I'm not that good at it. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. So that is all I have for you today. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video and thanks for taking time to hang out with me today. And I hope that you got something out of this DIY. Maybe you'll make your own. Maybe you'll have a better crystal rock to work with that's a little more clear. So yeah, if you end up doing this DIY, I'd love to see it. Just tag me. I have my Instagram and Twitter linked down below or the, how to, not, actually my Instagram and Twitter are linked on my profile. So yeah, if you want to show me your Sorcerer's Stone creations or Philosopher's Stone creations, I'd really love to see those. Please give this video a big thumbs up, thumbs up just for my effort. <laughs> or give this video a thumbs up if you love the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone slash Sorcerer's Stone. Thank you so much for always hanging out with me and giving some Lumos to my life. And let's continue to live Lumos every day. Bye.